Testing, testing. <laughs> Do you not hear it? Okay, well, I mean, you should be hearing it now. I tested it. I know the music's coming through. This is KK Love Song <laughs> by KK Slider. Oh, also, uh,. Congratulations, because here's another surprise. And guess what? It's not locked to anything. It is legitimately a channel, uh, a channel emote. You should have access to it. If you enable uh, Franker faces, uh, I found out that I can add like 25 of my own emotes. I've, heard, I've known about this thing for a long time, I just never thought I could use it that way. <laughs> you can use it, right? Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's fine. Anyway. Uh, here comes another surprise. Uh, check this shit out. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, welcome to Animal Crossing, where I've made a thing and am pretty damn happy with the thing. <laughs> well, that's the thing. This is GameCube uh, Animal Crossing. Um, and yeah. <laughs> there, there's another there's another surprise. <laughs> um, also, what do you think of my layout? How do you how do you like KK and the fact that I actually have little little tiny little tiny KK things? Um, 
<laughs> you have no idea how like stoked I am about this. Like I am like legitimately excited. Um, <sighs> just full of surprises. Uh, so the the final surprise, the big surprise, the meat, is that. Hey, what took you so long, retard? <laughs> Are you going to go have some fun or what? <laughs> uh, guess how old this save file is. Uh, this save file is my original save file, um, if I'm correct. <laughs> this should be the <laughs> this should be the save file that I created when the game first came out. I know that I've touched this save file within, I think, the last 10 years, but I can't pinpoint it. I know I've touched it, I just don't remember when. Uh, so yeah. Apparently it's February, February 11th. Uh, we're just going to let it be... Well, no, should I change it? It's the right year. Uh, who are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's right. That's right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I do I do want to change the I want to change the date. I didn't push the button that I meant to push. Hey, are you ready to hit the town, Ducky? February eleventh. It's like seven. Alrighty. It's all good. So you also have good news? What's the good news? You all set to go? Yes. Hey, who are you? I'm... Jason. I'm sorry, of course. You're Jason. It totally slipped my mind. Sorry about that. All right. I'm going to get things set up for you. So just hold on a sec. You're making quick stew. Nice. <sighs> I actually spent half an hour trying to get this to work properly. More like 45 minutes. Because I could either get it to appear on my TV or I could get it to appear here. And then I updated Elgato, and then I... Oh my god, it was frustrating. And I was like, I made everything work yesterday. I didn't even go into the game. I made sure it turned on. I made sure that that save file was there. And oh my god. Hope you have a good time in Jazz 1. <laughs> oh boy. I'm... Wait, 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 wait. Dude, look at this. Look at the last the last update was 2010. That's what you king. I do not and do not trash your other streams or anything, but this is the best thing you've ever done. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's cool. 2010. 2010 to 2019 auto entries for some reason. That's that's interesting.
But yeah, I'm I'm Samus. There's a link on my door. I guess we should start. What is in melon chair? Ultragoid fossils. That's right. I used to store things in my letters. <laughs> you were thirteen in two thousand ten. Wow. Okay. Well, we've we've got some things. I can't touch the mail just yet. So there's a nice, quick, easy way to kill all the roaches. Or at least get them all out. And I told you that I liked KK Technopop. It's... this is... that's the song that's playing right now. Get the fuck out of here. Well, you've, we've got some things. <laughs> Again, and you are exactly how you say you are. <laughs> oh, and look at that. That's an NES game. That's the Zeldors. Of course, I got my Tom Nook. What do I got in here? I remember, <laughs> I remember how, like, this is actually kind of frustrating. Um, like, this is not the easiest way to store things. Insert. Why can't I insert these things? Anyway, let's go look at the top floor. Well, there's some stuff up here, too. There's the Mario Brothers. <gasps> oh, that's right. That one doesn't actually do anything. I think I'm getting a better idea of Young Jazz. Boom. <laughs> that one doesn't make a noise. Anyway, <laughs> just keep in mind, I was, I was like 20. model down here and oh look is that like basically every single NES game hell yes it is is there a light switch we got Wario's Woods 
remember what that one is. I got Hogan's Alley. Yeah, like, dude, I even got like the, the blank one. So what was going on with 20-year-old Chaz? I was dating my first girlfriend and finding out harsh realities of life. <sighs> Living in Indiana. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, KK Technopop. <laughs> uh, view my library, please. I guess I have all the songs. But yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm so excited. I, I, I haven't even gotten started yet. Like... Yeah. I think I go I gave her like basically everything that she has in her house. For some reason, like going in here fills me with like a sense of dread. Oh look, more NES games. <laughs> And a couple fish, a fossil. Yeah, I guess I had a few NES games. Okay. Yeah, like, I feel like it makes me feel like I'm entering into like, like that's that's like a graveyard right there. <laughs> okay. Well. Um. Oh, by the way, I immaculately planted my town. Like. I maximized fruit production. That's right, time for new memories. I got all the fruits. And because of the way that the game was laid out, I made sure that uh, trees were only in like the corners of the of the quadrants. Because I really I really wanted to make sure that I could see like everything. Ridiculous. I counted things. This statue was printed in honor of Jason's full loan repayment. Yeah, I did that for her. I'm kind of curious as to what animals live here. I mean, we've already seen a couple of them. And yes, we're going to pick all the weeds. We're going to make our town look good. Oh, this tree couldn't grow properly. All right, let's see. I mean, it seems like we have a pretty full town. Oh, and look, dude, it's like... It was all... I don't know, it, it was laid out pretty nicely. Got Pom Pom. Got Filbert. Apollo. Aziz. Cube. Limburg and Freckles. Hambo. Carmen. Mitzi. Tangy and Free... I, I always call her Frigga. <laughs> Sandy, Monique, and Gwen. There's one of the bear people that I'm missing. Um, that used to be like one of my favorites. I really hope I can see him again. I don't remember what his name is. As soon as I see him, I'll remember. But I don't remember what his name is now. Dude, like my... Like, I feel it in my heart right now. Like, <laughs> this is... This is Nostalgia Supreme. Oh, we found Nookingtons. So how does this make you feel? <laughs> <clears throat> Do you 
Did you ever play this version? All I'm thinking about is uh, rocks hit, the cherries eaten, the seashells like God. <laughs> you can't wait to play. Yeah. Oh, you found a digging spot, but I don't have any room for it, so we're just going to leave it alone. I'm going to sell basically everything in my pockets. Because I don't fucking need that shit. Thankfully, the store is open. <clears throat> Play the GameCube one some, but at the time it was my brother, my mother's game. I spent most of my time on New Leaf. New Leaf was good. <coughs> what can I do for you? Yes. Hmm. I'd like to sell melon. I'm gonna take whatever you get me. Pocket Camp barely did anything for me, so I'm ready for New Horizons yet. Yeah. Dude, Pocket Camp was terrible. Dude, you can't sell, like, multiple things at the same time, either. I don't think you can. There you go. I was, like, trying to remember how to fucking do it. I got money again! Nope. I want to look at my catalog, actually. Five hundred and eighty eight things. That's done. Fossils are done. Gyroids are done. Stationary items, clothing, carpet, paper. Oh, carpet's done. Items are done. Stationary's done. Honestly, they should have just made one tiny town and focused on keeping it as close to the original as possible, uh, since they clearly weren't going for creativity. The best thing about Pocket Camp was those bird brothers. I never even got that far. To be quite honest. All the stuff that I don't need because I own everything. <laughs> ah, being assaulted! <laughs> Just fucking let me in. Dude, social studies. Wow. Ah, nostalgia. Like, seriously, dude. You gave it a couple weeks. I tried, but it just didn't. It didn't. Didn't tickle the jubblies. Did not tickle those jubblies. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some things. We're gonna we're gonna clean up the town. Uh, we're gonna talk to all the animals. We're gonna do some chores. You know who's gonna cave <laughs> cave in your jellies though? <laughs> this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm feeling good. Like I am like I can feel the smile pain in my in my face. <laughs> Have you ever had smile pain? Oh, there's one. Okay, let's let Oh, that's a miss. I guess I should see what's in my, uh... I get smile pain from watching streams, <laughs> if that counts. There you go. We gotta go do donate those. We should see what's in...
I'm just I'm just excited to see what they say because I want them to tell me how long I've been gone. <laughs> oh god. Did you ever did you ever do this? Basically you would you would store your items in the letters to give you extra space. I got my designs. <laughs> I haven't caught all the fish. I haven't gotten all the bugs. Bugs and fish were hard. Woo -woo. God, I am so happy right now. All right, we're just gonna sort of take it from the top, I think. Wasn't in the habit of carrying more than given space, <laughs> but I, I don't, uh, I don't like clutter, so that's just a, a me thing. There are going to be a lot of weeds. But I'm okay. We got time. We have all the time. Table tennis. And cart. I think I purposely left a couple blank trees. Um, because I wanted to make sure that... Yeah, for 10 years. <laughs> you wish you had my GameCube? Well, I mean, that's what a Wii is for. Like, seriously, like, that's... Like, the Wii is the best place to play GameCube games currently. <laughs> the GameCube's great, though. I mean, okay, I'll just ask this. Does everything look okay to you? Like, seriously, like... Because, I mean, I think it looks fantastic. <laughs> I got this, like, resed up to, like, 1080. Oh, we gotta see what my town tune is. Crisp as a new dollar. I should check how much money I have in the bank. Because I'm not broke. I know that for a fact. Well, Wii was fun, but it was never the same as the GameCube. Yeah, that's very true. All right, let's go visit here real quick. <laughs> hey. GameCube Wii DS uh, did solidify their own spots, though. Yes. And be quick about it. Oh, the e-reader transfer machine. I had these. I still have my e-reader. It's behind you. All right, ready to hear this uh, town tune? I have no idea what it is. That's all it was? Okay. I guess I just made it. I remember looking up, like, unique, um, 
town themes. Maybe I can make that a reward. Um, spend a whole bunch of, uh, of cocktail weenies and, uh, <laughs> and, and I get, and I'll, uh, remake the town tune to what you want me to. I was also thinking, uh, that another good one would be, uh, when animals ask, um, to, to have, like, a saying, <laughs> I could, I could make bells, or make, make cocktail weenies a, a, a way to, like, choose what they're gonna say. Oh, it's a snowball. We can make a snowman! Maybe. spot so many possibilities um but yeah i was telling you that i made um more emoji um i have six more specifically for pokemon this is my team i made my team i made uh an emoji form of all of my team members all right, let's see if you say the thing. Wow, I feel like it's been so long since I last laid eyes on you. What on earth have you been doing for... <laughs> what is... what is that number? <laughs> 193 times 30. 5,790 days divided by 365. I could have done this an easier way. 193 divided by 12. Okay, it has been 16 years. Yeah, 16 years since they've seen me? What? 193 divided by 12. Yeah, it's been 16 years. Okay, great. How about that? Uh, yeah, I was thinking that I would actually do this stream for a bit and then stream Pokemon and get all the new Gigantamax Pokemon and then maybe do like some shiny uh, hunting. We're going to be doing an evolution stream uh, coming up to get all the, the Elkrimis, uh that I have because I now have all of the pieces to that puzzle, so... I, I finished getting them today. Knowing you, you were probably up to something I don't want to know about. What? Didn't you hear? Oh my gosh! I can't believe you haven't heard already. That's so super weird! It took you so crazy long to get the glasses case from that Limburg had to take care of it. Rah, rah. Unfortunately, that means I have nothing for you to do. But that's the way the ball bounces, rah, rah. Okay, I want, I want, a, I want a KK song. We're gonna we're gonna play the uh, KK song. Yeah, that's that's the plan. I kind of play this for a little bit and then then do the things. Don't forget, you too can request KK songs. There's a link to a website and everything? And a reward to do it with? Wow. What was your favorite thing to do here? I spent a lot of time making clothes patterns. Uh, I did that a lot in the later games. Um, in this game... It was collecting the furniture. I think it's always been collecting the furniture for me. Also, have you checked out the saying that, uh, the sayings that KK has? 
<laughs> I hope you can read him clearly. Oh, yeah. I love that I just have this ability to do this now. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, I worked really hard setting this all up. Um, I basically spent, uh, like, part of the reason why I said that I was going to do this on Friday. Yeah. They're all individual picture files, and I... And I uploaded them as a slideshow. And so now it just rotates. Randomly, might I say. Um, and I think I might actually continue to use... Uh, that's an actual KK quote. Like, legit. Like, there's... I think there's three actual KK quotes in here. Uh, the one about Sundays, the one about coffee, and the one about music being free. Those are actual KK quotes. Um... The rest of them I just I just made up. Uh... All right. Um... All right. We're gonna take care of this portion in front, like before going down. And we'll head across the lake, and then we'll go down, and we'll get all this stuff. Yeah. Ow. I had I had a pattern, uh, like a, a a plan of attack when doing all this stuff. I had certain I, I would I would literally go like across and I would clear out each specific area. <laughs> KK BB. BB, I love you, but respect your taste buds. Actually, he's not wrong. I just like the way he says it. <laughs> Black coffee is good coffee. Anyway, I'm glad you enjoyed. Um, but yeah, I I said I said that I was I was doing it on Friday because like literally I've spent all week working on this, like the backgrounds. Uh, <laughs> it's not bad if you do it right. Um, like the pictures, like setting up, making sure that the system worked, um, like the KK slider uh, emote. Um, I, I spent a lot of time on this one, and I'm very happy. Like, downloading all the things, resurrecting my weird website that I made for college. Um, well, and not for college, but I, I did that while I was working at Fry's. Um, yeah, all that fun stuff. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm thinking of using this whole thing. <laughs> Retard, oh my god. <laughs> Who the fuck did you pick that up from? <laughs> um, uh, I've been thinking of using the same sort of style for uh, New Horizons. I just might tweak it a bit. Are you on the road? Nobody's been around to play with since you took off. I've got way too much energy lately. Tell me, Jason, what's new, retard? Uh, entertain me? I was wondering, how many times a week do you clean your room, retard? <laughs> Every day. Wow, I had no idea you were such a cleaning nerd, Jason. Remember, my my ex had some hands in this too, but it's very likely that that was me. I think it was probably it probably stemmed from a, an event where I didn't. Oh my god, you you talked for like two seconds and pissed off the neighbor. <laughs> oh. Did you say something? I'm sorry, but I have an awful lot on my mind. 
I'm afraid I'm feeling rather blue. Yeah, I think it, I think it stemmed from a point where like I didn't know what to make them say. But I just literally put it put in like anything. And retard happened to be one of them. I like eating peaches. Yes. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. I don't even remember what the original fruit in this town is anymore. I guess I could sell some and find out. He's open to 10. I, I have plenty of time to make that discovery. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. Uh, another wonderful uh, United States President's the United States of America song. Oh, there's a duck back there. No, not a duck. I think it's Apollo. Why don't you come out here where I can see you? Bitch. Hey, I haven't met you before. <laughs> But I'd remember a face like that. Oh, Jazz, why were you reminisce and talk old memories? <laughs> I'm Apollo, you got a problem with that? Good. Nice knowing you. Hmm, oh, it's just Jason again. Hey, Pa. Uh, hello. Hey, why are you even talking to me? Pa. <laughs> I just, I, it just makes it sound like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, just hanging. There's something that's been bugging me lately. You've probably noticed this yourself, but I say Puh, every now and then. Puh. See, I can't stop. To be honest, it's really getting to me. There's gotta be something else I can say. Think of something, will ya? It's the new humbug. <laughs> All right, what do, what do I make him say? What is his go-to word? <laughs> it's just a little bit uh, violent. <laughs> I'm open to suggestions. Fuck. <laughs> Black and white mafia, <laughs> you filthy animal. <laughs> I I will I will give that to the next uh, hapless villager that asked me to give them a saying, but for right now, fact caught my interest. <laughs> fact. <laughs> oh, I guess I can live with that. Fact. It'll take some getting used to, but yeah, it's not it's not bad. <laughs> From now on, I'll just I'll say fuck. I I just hope that uh, you remember that it's all your fault. It is all my fault. Uh, actually, I blame solitude. Anyway, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining in. Uh, we're playing Animal Crossing, and this is my original save file from when the game came out in two thousand one. Uh, I haven't played this game for 193 months, and that's what I've been told. That's about 16 years. Um, I'm super excited for uh, the new... <laughs> I'm fine with this. Fuck. <laughs> I, bought the, I, I wanted to play this because I'm really stoked for um, the new Animal Crossing. I felt that this would wet my whistle. Uh, and I don't know. I, I think we can play a little bit of this in, in the upcoming weeks before that. You bought a Switch for Mystery Dungeon DX, but Animal Crossing looks good. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, Silver here is, is only willing to buy a Switch for Animal Crossing. <laughs> Glad you waited, because now you can get that sexy, 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 sexy eight, the Animal Crossing dock. Yes. I heard that you can actually buy parts individually from Japan uh, if you don't want to buy a new system. I have contemplated it, 
because I don't want to buy a new system. I do that dock, though. Wait, where'd the animal go? You were right here. There you are. Oh, hey there, stranger. I hadn't talked to you for so long, I almost forgot your vo what your voice sounded like. And I gotta say, I had forgotten it was such a nice voice. It's like musical, ducky. Hey, did you want something? Or what, ducky? What's new? I can't believe getting it to learn the controls, but it's whatever. I, I mean, it's not going to be that hard. He wasn't going to get a Switch either, but nostalgia hit me way hard with Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. Uh, people get mad about what I paid for Switch more than I care. <laughs> I don't know. The Switch is a solid system. I mean, I have two of them, but that's just... That's my own personal problem. <laughs> you paid 450 bucks. What'd you... I, I hope you got a game with it. <laughs> and you bought two. <laughs> I always forget to buy chocolates until the last minute. I bet there's nothing good left, Ducky. How come I stink so badly at planning things? Probably because you're just a dumb duck. <laughs> Don't understand why you bought two. It... I have the regular Switch, and then I have the Switch Lite, because it's a special edition that I like Pokemon, and I'm stupid, and I want to buy things! Oh, there you go. Great. I'm skipping digging up the stuff right now, because... I'm just clearing up <laughs> switch. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> if you want to buy things, buy, <laughs> buy burgers and cat toys. <laughs> burgers. No, I'm trying to stay away from the burgers. Burgers are great, though. I love burgers. Do you like burgers? Who likes burgers? <laughs> Don't you mean switch? Fake. <laughs> I'm a plumber. Money isn't a problem, mostly. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. I work hard for my money, too. Like, considering the fact that I bought them three years apart is fine. I justify it as now I have a Switch for home and a Switch for go. <laughs> Plus, the Switch Lite is so much better for, like, taking out with you. Oh, there's Tangy. You just had a burger for your birthday today. Happy birthday. Hold on a tick. Back. <laughs> I don't know why I like that, but I like that. <laughs> why don't we, uh... <clears throat> Why don't we get a, a song going? <laughs> a plumber, a librarian, and a solicitor walk into a bar. Whoa, come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo makes good games. I love Pokemon by staying away for 10 years, but Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX broke me since it was a remake. I downloaded the demo, and I intend on playing it uh, soon. I'm not a big fan of those. I'm more like the main mainline Pokemon games. Uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Sword and Shield on stream lately. Um, well, not so much since I beat the game, but like I've been shiny hunting. I, I don't know. I'm waiting for the expansions. I do like the art style for the new one, though. Uh, it looks great. It's fantastic. I like that sort of like painterly, uh, <laughs> painterly like hand drawn sort of art style. The only game Nintendo has over me is the, is Animal Crossing, since Okami isn't technically theirs. I mean. You're right. The three the three D direction turned me away from Pokemon, but DX hit me just hard. <laughs> yeah, 
I, and that's fine. Because, like, you definitely get those people where it's like, I'm in it for the Gen 1. Like, I like the Pokemon from that series. Everyone has their favorite. And that's perfectly fine. Um, I, I've picked up all of them. And I've played them all through. I've finished the decks. I've done all that noise. Um, and I'm still willing to keep going. <laughs> all right, who are you? Ambo. <laughs> Oh, I'm so pumped about that star shirt you sent me in the mail! So pumped! <laughs> Snorlax, Snorlax, Teddy Ursa, Teddy Ursa! You just like the bears. <laughs> I think that just says something about you. Uh, it's perfect for exercising. I don't know what this material is, but it really breathes! This is my new first string outfit, Jason. I hope you don't mind. Anywho! You probably want something, don't you? So what is it? Here in the chat. Jason, I'm broke. B-R-O-K-E, broke. Lend me some money. Nah, just kidding. Borrowing cash goes against my code. <laughs> so instead, will you buy this modern sofa for 390 bells? Sure. I like the modern set. Modern set is nice. It's modern. <laughs> So maybe I can stop scrounging around the dump thanks to you. <laughs> I was fine with the 2D sprites. I would rather have 50,000 Pokemon than 500 3D Pokemon. So instead of rant, instead of rant about it, I just left. <laughs> yeah. I have feelings about all that. But that's fine. It's Pokemon. I fell in love with it. And I, I don't know. Nothing's going to stop me from playing it. I just I do wish that I had access to all of the Pokemon. But they're slowly adding more. They're gonna add another 400, and I'm happy. Well, no, another 200, and I'm happy with that. Release the feelings. <laughs> the feelings are strong about having all the Pokemon. <laughs> uh, right now, I just all I care about is pulling weeds. Wait, I forget what's in the snow hut. It has been way too long. Since Animal Crossing is right out in the corner, kind of curious. Yeah. I mean, the thing the thing about the game is that like it, it's super casual, um, but I kind of dig that. Like, when I was playing it on the 3DS with New Leaf, it was definitely like that nice like hour, hour and a half of like daily gameplay. Uh, and I could just, I could just jump into it while watching TV and... I don't know, it's, it's, it's nice. It was like a, a nice little routine thing to do. And uh, yeah, it just kills some time. Help shut off the brain. <laughs> Get away from the uh, the stresses of being a, a working, working bitch. Oh, hello. I see you have Stu. Who are you? Gilbert. So warm in here, maybe I should just move in. Then I never have to go back home, bucko. <laughs> I wish winter would go away. I'm cold, and I want spring to hurry up. He's saying this, and he's currently staying inside a igloo, and he said he loves it. <laughs> I don't get you, man. Yeah, I always wanted to get them all, but I wasn't uh, i wasn't always a plumber, so I didn't have all the GameCube games. Never could complete the decks. <laughs> you aren't a working bitch, you're a working mule. Don't downplay yourself, game. <laughs> That's why I love Mystery Dungeon. Uh, lots of strategy and extremely chill if you want it to be. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I, have com I have completed the decks every single generation that has come out. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I do it. I even like I even completed the the decks for Sword and Shield without uh, waiting for uh, Pokemon Home because I could have easily finished like all of the the other Pokemon by just transferring them over. But uh, nope, I caught them all outright or traded for them, spread them out. You're acting rather buddy buddy now, aren't you? Who are you, Bumpkin? <laughs> You've never played a Pokemon game? I I don't know. You should pick up Sword and Shield. And trade with me. <laughs> Boom. Because trading's fun. I can rather buddy buddy. 
Jason. It strikes me as familiar, yet I can't quite place my finger on it. So, are we friends, or what? Oh, I think we are. <laughs> well, either way is fine, with me, Bumpkin. Well, Temtem -tem is basically a Pokemon. <laughs> so that's a fresh new slate. <laughs> In a final chit chat, did you need something? Uh, care to chat? From what I've heard, Sahara is more than just a traveling carpet salesperson. It seems Sahara is trying to make enough money to buy out her competitors back home. <laughs> you would, but you already have both, and you pick sword as your main. If you, <laughs> if probably picks, uh, you'd probably pick shield. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. I just like I said before when I started up that game. Uh, I didn't mind shield Pokemon, but sword Pokemon was was my favorite dog boy. So I finished shield on stream and played sword quietly on my own. <laughs> I like how Cube is wearing a GameCube shirt. <laughs> Tim Tim is potentially uh, more competitive than Pokemon, but it's only got 400 mods. That's that new one that just came out, right? I've heard about it. I haven't touched it yet. I don't know, I guess, like, I never got into Digimon either, and that's, like, basically the same sort of thing-ish. I, I guess, like, Pokemon, like, once I once I picked up Pokemon when it first came out, I just, like, oh, I'm hooked. <laughs> this this is a thing that I do for life now. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I don't know. Pokemon, it's a thing. Plus, 60 bucks for that? Right after, like, 730, the 370 I'll be spending on the Switch for Animal Crossing, you'll, you'll be destitute. <laughs> you don't have to buy them all at once. Jesus. Don't do what I do. Dude, I go to a GameStop and be like, hey, what's a new release? Oh, there's like 10 of them? Yeah, sure, I'll take those. <laughs> Again, I'm an idiot, though, so... Someone said Amiibo will work with New Horizon. People are going nuts about old Amiibo now. Uh, I guess it's a good thing that I basically own every single Amiibo. Let's see if I can get it to actually work. Well, I can. I just don't know if it's bright enough. But those, those are all Amiibo on that shelf. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of, like, most of the Animal Crossing ones are still in package. I'll probably open them up beforehand. We've got a whole bunch more unopened, like, hanging up above the uh, the window there. But, yeah, anyway. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, Temtem is much so much like Pokemon, it's crazy, but uh, they do have some different fighting features and massive multiplayer. Maybe I'll check it out one of these days. I don't know. It's just another thing to play when I'm already playing so many things. <laughs> when I, play, I don't know. When I play on PC, I'm typically just playing things like, uh, like Slay the Spire and other roguelikes. That familiar voice. It must be Jason's! I was in a complete fog about how to get in touch with you. So I'm stoked you came over, dude. What the fuck is that? Oh, <laughs> well, when Animal Crossing come, it comes out, I know who to go to for Amiibo. <laughs> yeah, I I pick up all the Amiibo like as soon as they come out. I pre-order them like a bitch, and I don't know. I just I, I want to have them all. I even have a list of the rarer ones that I don't have. But I think even then, like the ones that I don't have, it only equals about like I don't know, like maybe like ten that I don't have, but I think I'm I'm going to import them from, like, overseas, mostly. Because those are usually cheaper. Talk to me. I got the gnarliest story. Seriously, it'll scare the hair clean off you. You want to hear it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, Tim is probably too competitive for me. I've given up on competitive games. Yeah, I'm just... I am not the sort. <laughs> That's why I play games like this. <laughs> 
Okay, the other day I decided to clean under my furniture. It's been a while, and this nasty, creepy, gross... Ugh. Man, I can't go on. It's too scary. This promise me it'll clean under your furniture. It could save your life, dude. -du my god, he got upset. <laughs> Talking about the fact that he found a bug underneath his furniture. <laughs> the most competitive... Oh, now you're happy. Friga. Jason, what is it? Broof. By the way, did you need something? Broof. Uh, what's new? Lately I've been giving some thought to moving somewhere very far from here. You should. <laughs> it's not that I don't like Jazz Water or anything. Broof. I just want something new. So Jason, what do you think? Have I just aisled my life away? Is it time for me to move on? Broof. Uh, no thanks. Well, I didn't know you felt that way. I suppose I could move away without hesitation. Broof. Yeah, because broof. Who says broof? Uh, the most competitive I get at is fighting people for the last peanut butter cookie at Starbucks. <laughs> peanut butter cookie. Uh, yeah, I, I can see that. Peanut butter, uh, peanut butter cookies are great. Uh, tried, play, tried playing Call of Duty. Uh, couldn't get into it anymore. Had like two games at me before I just didn't care. <laughs> Dude, I I never played many of the Call of Duty games because I'm, I'm not a shooter boy. Uh, but I played Modern Warfare uh, when they sort of like revamped the series. I liked the story. Could never play online. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it, like, Modern Warfare came out. I, I tried playing it. Uh, Warfare 2 came out. And uh, I, I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. It, it just, I just didn't have anything for me. Like the the sh I'd, I'd played that shooter, and I found out that it was just like the other shooter, and I'm just like, okay, I'm done now. Um, I dude, I would have a friend that would he he he'd play Call of Duty competitively a lot, uh, get on the rank matches and shit, and uh, I would <clears throat> I would be in like a I'd be in like an Xbox uh, live chat with him while he was playing. And he would just get so fucking mad. I'm just like, why do you play that game? <laughs> and I just like, eventually, like, I started just, I just, like, if you're going to play that game, I'm not going to chat with you. <laughs> so I, do, I would just, like, mute him. Or I would just leave the chat when he started yelling. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, closest I've gotten to shooting games is, like, GoldenEye or Resident Evil 4 and 6. I, I like how you skipped 5. <laughs> 5 was... Four was great. I wish that I had the balls to beat it, but I don't like Resident Evil games. Uh, five was very arcade. Um, and I liked it. Great multiplayer game. Have I pulled all the weeds up here? I think I have. Six, I heard, was terrible. Uh, you love COD 5, Modern Warfare 2, uh... Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, then the series went to shit. <laughs> I remember, dude, I remember, like, working at GameStop and having people ask, it's like, what do you think about Call of Duty? It's like, eh, garbage. <laughs> I would tell them that, that straight to their face. My managers hated me because they're just like, Jason, sell them games. I'm just like, I, they're buying garbage, dude. <laughs> you're buying absolute garbage. Play Destiny 1 for 3,000 hours. That's pretty impressive. I I have heard pretty good things about Destiny, though. Um, oh, oranges. Hello. There, there's not many games that I would put 3,000 hours into. Um, Pokemon is definitely one of them. Definitely not a shooter. So, I don't know. I could never get into the, uh, like, those sort of, like, online ones. I don't know. I just, I don't like, I don't like interacting with people. <laughs> Having to depend on them for fun. <laughs> I just can't do it. You don't like shooty boys. Four was great. Only played six because of societal pressure. Why? Who pressures people into playing freaking Resident Evil 6? It's like the throwaway game of the series. <laughs> Jazz likes to do things solo. Yeah. 
my console. All I need is me and my great big fluffy furry companion. But he doesn't count. He's not actually people. It takes some time to clean up a town after 16 years. Trove is alright, but pay to win uh, since Tryon Mix. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I feel about... Well, I actually, I do know how I feel about pay to win stuff. I kind of avoid those too. I like... Okay, I don't mind the app games that allow you to play without paying. And you can do everything in it but you don't have to pay anything. The new God of War? Yes. Very badass. Very cinematic. Great character design. Great look. Boy. <laughs> That's, surprisingly, another game that I haven't beaten. I don't know why. I was like halfway into it, I think. <clears throat> I just haven't picked it up again. I don't, I don't play on my PS4 very much. I believe that we're going to run into a new villager. I think it might be Tangy. I think Tangy was originally in my town, or at least she moved into my town while I was playing it. Yeah, there she is. Great. There's, there's so many good games on the PS4. I don't know why I don't play it more. <laughs> uh, play, play to win games suck. Or you mean pay to win, I'm assuming. Uh, even if you could technically play without paying. Takes forever. You'll get stomped by people uh, that put money into it. Like one dude was putting $10,000 into his game. <laughs> I can't beat that when I can't. When I gotta wait two weeks for something for one thing to upgrade. Uh, you put 2,000 hours into Fortnite. Save the world. Wow. Put eight hundred dollars in uh, into it, but they need to make it uh, free already. I'm sad. I'm it's sad. I'm complaining about a game I put shit loads of money into, but free uh, to be free. But it's been like in beta for like three years. <laughs> I don't know. I I agree. I think I think with those games, they actually do work really well in a free sort of economy. There's other ways to make money. Hey! Wow, I feel like it's been so long since I've seen... since I last laid eyes on you. What on earth have you been doing for 193 months? And where... and where have you been doing it? <laughs> Knowing you, you reply up to something I don't want to know about. Anyway, what's up? Just hanging. You like games, right? That's right. Yeah, I like games too. It's one time I snuck into Frigga's house so I could play some NES games and I got caught. Officer Copper really chewed me out for that. I haven't done it since. I haven't done it much since then, you know. <laughs> I like how she says I haven't done it much. But don't you start doing it? That's my idea. I don't want anybody cramping my style. <laughs> Glad Tangy agrees that I'm a pervert. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Like, she knows all my dirty secrets. Plus, I don't need to go break into Frigga's house to play NES games. I've got them all at my house. Maybe I should play some of the NES games. That'd be fun. Give him a little whirl. Uh, the games have eyes, Jazz. <laughs> Who knows what the, what that disc has seen you do. Uh, I, I choose not to think about it. <laughs> Speaking of that. Save the World definitely doesn't need money to progress. The game is essentially the same from level 30 to, to 131. Uh, but I try to support games I enjoy, which is good. 
But Save the World uh, was supposed to be a beta for a year, not three years. It's not like Epic hasn't made in enough money on it to complete it. <laughs> you could rant about it forever. <laughs> I mean, dude, we have we all have those things. <laughs> I like it when games come out and say they're done. There's something about it. <laughs> it just feels good. It feels right. Uh, granted, there are some games that come out that aren't great. <laughs> We've all seen Duke Nukem forever. <laughs> oh, hey, a lunar, a lunar Lander and Saturn V. I like those. Um, good evening. Not to be rude, but I'm not a fan of strangers at my home at night. Who are you? I can't imagine anyone would come into a house without knowing the owner, so I must have met you somewhere. Oh, yes, Jason. Come to think of it, you did some work for me, didn't you, Ra Ra? Oh, you learned from your friends. So you must have had some reason for coming to see me, right, Ra Ra? I'm picking it up. Oh, ta da, here it is, the glasses case. Take good care of it, Ra Ra. And tell Butch thanks for letting me borrow it. How do I? Ha How did they hold on to that and wait for me for 16 years to pick it up? Well, then please do your best. Ra ra. <laughs> oh, dude, I remember hearing about the Bad Company series. People love it. I never played it because Shooter Boy, but uh, people love those series, th those games. Uh, just give me like five more years, and I'll talk to Dice about <laughs> myself about heading the project. <laughs> do it. Live your dreams. Make that game appear. Who knows? Maybe eventually. Certain companies will be like, you know what? We haven't made this game in like a while. Why don't we just do it again? I mean, some people have been. I mean, what? Look at Shenmue. Uh, <laughs> look at uh, that mighty number nine. <laughs> I mean, that's a bad example. They're, they're making Mega Man games and you just sort of made one and it wasn't really that great. I don't know. There's lots of people trying to resurrect series. Uh, we'll have to do some fishing. See what we can catch in wintertime. Oh, and I've got these fossils to donate. We can take a look at the museum. You know what game they should resurrect, especially because it uh, she's in Smash, kind of now. Which one? I'm trying to think of like the character. Oh, Bayon. You're talking about like Bayonetta? They're working on a three. Bayonetta's great. Uh, oh, Shantae? Oh, yeah. No, they're still making games. They're actually working on one right now. And, and I think another one came out just like a couple years ago. Uh, Bad Company 2 was amazing, but Battlefield 3 and 4 were badass. Uh, then Battlefield 5 and 1 came out. Uh, but Bad Company 2 was wide open and ready for a sequel, but they just didn't make one. <laughs> uh, let's go to Alaska, boys. <laughs> 13 years later, <laughs> when, when are we going to Alaska? <laughs> Maybe they're already there and they froze to death and that's why the story never continued. <laughs> I actually, like, Silver, back to, like, to your point, I actually really do wish that I'd played the original Shantae. I don't know why I didn't. I guess it was, like, really hard to find or something like that, but it seems like the type of game that I would play. Bayonet is a game that I'll have to play through on stream, too. It should be a, a fun, a fun, sexy gun chick type of game. I don't know. I'll add it to the list. <laughs> the list of games that I've never beaten. 
Dude, you think that the like museum staff would take care of this shit? <laughs> the Russians didn't want Alaska, apparently. <laughs> Are you sure you can play Bay Bayonetta? I wouldn't want you to pop, pop a blood vessel. I can fucking play blood Bayonetta. Like, what do you what do you think would stop me from playing that game? Right. Blathers. What's up, boy? Welcome, please do come in. It's so very nice to see you. Yes, well, by the by, might there be something in which I can assist you? I want to donate an item. Who, oh, I say who? Splendid. What no doubt price this item might you have for us today? Uh... This? Oh wait, don't I have to mail them out? An unexamined fossil, my heart is set a twitter at the very thought. I am a fervent student of paleontology, but I'm fairly confident I can assess this, the identity of this specimen. However, I must confess, I have yet to receive my certifi certification, so I cannot offer an official examination. If I were mistaken, you see, I fear I would be, shall I say, severely chastised. Yes, quite severely indeed. I'm jolly sorry about this, but you'll need to send this to the main faraway museum. Uh, so is the Horizon Island topography supposed to be random? Yes. Uh, it better fucking be. Incidentally, just by the by, I believe you received a letter from the Faraway Museum, correct? Of course. Well then, in that case, there should be no problem, nary a problem in sight, eh? What? I simply pen a letter to Faraway and send it off with a fossil enclosed. Easy peasy. What what? What what? The good people there will identify the fossil type and then return it to you with all possible speed. Huzzah! I mean, they are trailers. They are trailer science. <laughs> it's been 16 years, Blathers. A PhD don't take that long. <laughs> now, is there anything else? Nope. Uh, that's right. I, I had forgotten completely that you had to mail away the fossil. There wasn't a way to just, like, do it yourself. Ah, fish. I remember catching a whole bunch of those red boys. Because they were worth a lot of money. <laughs> ah, red boys. Was it all just contained in one room? Uh, you don't trust anything anymore. I believe what I see. And even you, Ubisoft's been has ruined believing what I see. <laughs> ah, well, there's a thing. Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Rainbow Six downgrade. <laughs> well, that I remember, like the whole thing with uh, the whole thing with fucking oh god, what was it? Watchdogs. Like how like they showed off trailers and then the game came out and so it's like oh wow, this doesn't look the same. All these fine pieces of art. Did I get them all? I guess I did. <laughs> I don't know. Like some games, they just they have some massive problems with shit like that. All these fine pieces of art, <laughs> and the only masterpiece is the kitties. <laughs> well, Olivia's sniffing the couch, so I don't know if she's necessarily a masterpiece. So many Ubisoft games look worse in the trailers. <laughs> it's a it's a trend. It's a meme. It's a thing. It's a way of life. For Ubisoft at least. They even say actual Xbox in-game footage. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the nerve. <laughs> I don't know. I, there, there's some times where I really do feel that, like, pretty much all fucking game developers are fucking liars. It's really hard to trust any of them. I like how this square is pretty much clean. What errand have you at the wishing well of Jazz One? <clears throat> apologize. <laughs> you do not appear to have any items you must apologize for. When you have items that you need to deliver, 
You should not cast them aside so quickly. Put a little more effort into finding the owner. Okay. I thought I was just apologizing for leaving you alone for 16 years. Uh, how are things? When there are too many weeds, an area is in need of care and attention. A town feels very unsettled. Go to Acre E1 to see what is amiss. All right, I'll go there soon. They produce uh, a hyper-realistic game that's only a slice of the game. <laughs> Look at Anthem. <laughs> oh my god, Anthem. <clears throat> I was excited about Anthem purely because of the Mass Effect hype in my heart, because I love Bioware. I have played a great deal of their games. And I love them very much for the space epic that they made. I love Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Very much so. I mean, I almost considered playing the MMO. But then I found out, well, then I realized that it was an MMO and I didn't want anything to do with it. Uh, Anthem, Apex, all of them came out at the same time. I haven't heard of them after like a month they were out. I don't know, I've heard people talking about Apex, but I don't hear people talking about Anthem. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Stadia is about to head the same way as Anthem too, which is pretty funny. Apex is back on your YouTube feed. Interesting. I think I was actually chatting with somebody in my stream the other day that said that they were into Apex. And I'm just like, wow. I haven't heard that name in forever. <laughs> That's a name I haven't heard in quite a long time. Is Stadia a game? I thought it was a service. Uh, it is a service. But it's also a joke. Anthem is trying to start fresh, but you need to buy the $30 update. Ugh. I don't know. If they want to reboot the thing from scratch, do what No Man's Sky did. Like, No Man's Sky came out and, like, granted, I really enjoyed it, played the shit out of it, I liked it more than I probably should have for what the game actually offered, but dude, they, they upped their game. They fixed the game over a couple years. They're still updating it. I don't know. I mean, they made they made up for it. Why can't other people just like let it be and just do stuff for free? This Stadia is a joke. <laughs> Someone explain Stadia to me. I'm not a gamer. So Stadia is basically just like Google's way of trying to get into the whole gaming scene. Uh, they want to stream games to you, and you pay to stream, you pay to buy the games uh, and download them, and then you stream them on whatever device you have connected to whatever Stadia needs to do its thing. And uh, it's so it's all it's all digital, and so the whole idea is that like you go to a browser and you play a game, and it's supposed to be in like 4K and. You're supposed to be able to play it without any like worry about latency or lag and but they haven't they haven't released a game in like two months and uh they're not updating their games frequently uh the game updates that they have are behind what actual like physical release games and other digital download games are getting on other consoles or pc it's just it's just bad news uh google kind of like they touted a big game and then they kind of just like dropped it but then again google is pretty pretty well known for just dropping a whole bunch of like random shit all the time hey there copper good evening to you let's be extra careful when we're walking alone at night the darkness is suspicious tell me how else can officer copper be of assistance anything lost you want to know how many lost items we have currently we have two <laughs> Uh, Stadia is a more expensive console, more expensive service for a small library of limited tiny uh, time games that cycle every six months or whatever. Stadia has shitloads of lag since it's all off the cloud. Uh, you're playing a game off Google servers, essentially. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty. I I've never tried it, but I don't have any intention of doing so. Oh, sure. Yeah. Every item here is lost. I mean, we don't know who owns them. The, the items. You can take anything, I think. What do we have? Oh, that's a Jade Econo chair, I think. So, would that be yours? That's right. 
What if I want to play off Firefox servers or big... I mean, essentially. <laughs> I don't know. That's fine. Shouldn't be a problem, I think. Well, that's a storefront, uh, I think. So, would that be yours? That's right. <laughs> I don't think that's better. <laughs> it's probably not. You know, I actually want to have, like, wanted people. I want criminals. I want you. <laughs> this is why I'm just kind of excited about Pokemon DX. Just play my solo offline games. All too right. Oh, I heard a door. Someone's out in the field. <clears throat> oh, shit. God damn, there's a lot of weeds. <laughs> Weeding the stream. Speaking of solo, when are we going to have that sax... I don't play saxophone. There's no saxophone hero. I ain't no sexy sax man. Although sexy sax man's a pretty funny meme. <laughs> Hello, <clears throat> Monique. That resting bitch face. You stop. You just stop right there, Jason. Where have you been all this time? <laughs> what is with the phrases that these animals have? It's not that I think I need to mother you or anything, but I get a bit concerned when you don't show your face for over 193 months. You see. <laughs> by the by, did you need something? <laughs> I'm going to chew you out, and then I'm going to ask if you need anything. Hey, isn't this new nail polish of mine just the most fabulous color? I like it. Isn't it the best? This brick red nail polish is my fave. It makes me look beautiful. Well, even more beautiful. <laughs> Got the face of a 40-year-old woman trying to be hot. Uh, that's so very astute of you to notice, Jason. It seems like you're not such a total loss. Uh, you don't have to be a sexy sax man. <laughs> be a gorgeous, gentle giant. <laughs> uh, I don't still work at GameStop. Uh, I, I worked for them for about, like, 15 years. And, uh, I work during the holiday time. Like, I actually just got, uh, released. <laughs> Fired. I, I don't know. I quit. Uh, because the holiday uh, time is over, so I don't have a job there anymore. So I don't have my discount anymore, and I'm sad. But they'll probably try hiring me again next November, or this coming November. And I'll probably take it, because I can work, like, two shifts in the space of three months. <laughs> and then spend a whole bunch more money there, like I always do. Supposedly GameStop is in Phase 3 now. I don't even know what that means, to be quite honest. <laughs> They'll try to hire you again in March because of the surge. No, they won't. Trust me, they, they don't they don't make they don't have enough hours in that store. Uh, hire more people that time. The only time that they have hours is during the, the holidays. I don't know if like from from what I've gathered, like GameStop is fine. Like stores are closing. They're restructuring. They're trying like some new things. Like they're trying to get into that whole esport thing, which is whatever. I mean, it's it's a retail business that specializes in games, and I feel like it is kind of tough to keep that sort of shit up. Like they're trying to sell like all the think geek, think geek stuff, and they own like some like Mac stores, I think. Uh, there's like the whole cell phone part of things, uh, but I don't know. It's just it's whatever. Like I like it because it's a place that I know that I can go to get things physically. Because, kind of like when I do gaming things, I want to buy them from a store. Death to retail. <laughs> Rise up, gamers. I don't know. I like the retail stuff. I do. And honestly, if, like, GameStop went away, I'd find, like, some other, like, gaming type thing. But, I don't know, like, the other choices were, like, Walmart, Best Buy. 
I don't know. I'm certainly not going to Target. <laughs> but uh, I, I, it's just it's just a personal feeling, though. There are times where I just I like the physicality of actually going to this, into a store and picking up a thing that I want. Oh, I don't think that you have to worry. Physical copies will be around for a while. They might be on weird small cartridges. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I don't think physical is going away just yet. At least not for the games. Why do you hate Target but not... Oh, I don't like Walmart either. I would just rather go to Walmart because the Target game... The car Target game sections around here are just like absolute shit. I'll go to Target to buy Lego sets. Well, I think they need a they need to be the nostalgia store. Uh, they're they're pressing the wrong angle, but obviously I have no power over them. I, it's just sad watching a store die that I spent loads of time in. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like I don't know, I'm invested in the company. I I worked for them for the greater portion of my maturing life. Um, I've had my ups and downs with GameStop. I've certainly met managers that I don't care for. I've quit because I was told to choose between uh, my fiance at the time and job and school. Um, I don't know, it's just like, but for the most part, I like it because the environment of going to a place where you can talk to people about games and that's your job. Uh, I like it, I don't know, because it's just like, I, I, GameStop's all about opinions and everybody has one, it's like assholes, but I don't know, I just, it was fun. It was fun. It still is fun. Like, you go there, you work with the right people, you get the right customers, and, I don't know, everything's fine. Like, it just, it works. <laughs> that name. That name. I mean, it was a great way to see cheap movies. <laughs> but that name. They're finally dead, though. And the parent company that tried to distance, them, distance, distance themselves from movie pass in order to escape the downfall they're dying too <laughs> uh, yeah use use games will never go away until everything goes all digital uh, gamestop had a, a solid monopoly forever and they are just killing themselves true if they i feel like if they would focus more time on just like selling games i think they'd be fine all the like the problem that I have with GameStop, and it just comes from like working in there, uh, too much, too much other merch. Like, I feel like if they went away from like the collectible shit, not that I don't like the collectible shit because I buy a fuck ton of it, as you can see clearly behind me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like they should do games as well as like board games and tabletop games because, like, why not? Board games and tabletop games are, like, having a bit of a resurgence, it seems, so, like, why not get into that? Like, sell more trading card game shit. Sell, like, dice and Dungeon and Dragon manual and stuff. I don't know, I feel like it'd be perfect. <clears throat> they could capitalize on a whole new thing. Uh, everything is getting replaced by Apple stores and Chipotle. <laughs> I hate that. That's a terrible sentence. Also, Chipotle is owned by McDonald's. Uh, good evening. Not to be rude, but I'm not a fan of strangers in my home at night. Who are you? You said the same thing as the other one. Oh, yes, Jason. I remember you. Come to think of it, you did some work for me. Uh, let's talk, Mitzi. You know what? I have the perfect furniture for your place. A friend of mine gave me a blue dresser the other day, but I can't really use it. Fuck. <laughs> It's like new, but I'll let you buy it for 990 bells if you want. Yeah, sure, I'll buy it. Oh, great! I knew you'd see how wonderful this blue dresser is. It's my favorite color. Uh, I feel like GameStop should become like a library for games. My favorite part of GameStop was getting to test out games and Amble. <laughs> okay, little do you know, GameStop is basically a library for games as it is because people abuse the return policy on used games. God, I can't remember how many times I would see this kid come in like three times a week because like they'd buy a game they'd play it, get tired of it, return it. And they just keep on doing that. So eventually GameStop was like, if you see a same person like over and over again just returning games, you can cut them off. And I'm like, oh, that's great. <laughs> I, think it's, I think GameStop still takes 0% of new releases. 
I feel like they need to get a percent of new releases so they don't need to press the use game so hard. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. That's hard. I think the way that it all works, like, monetarily-wise, it's just hard for them to take any money out of it. Uh, but I agree with you. They push they push them new game, the, them use stuff, very hard. And, dude, like, when I was working there over, over the winter, uh, I'm not a salesperson. I never have been. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, like... Dude, like some of those, some of the guys that work in that store, like the manager, is just like, it's like they're trying to guilt people into buy certain things. Just, I can't fucking do that. Obviously, the GameStop physical copies will go up in price, but they still need to do something. Yeah. I I've been slowly expecting like an increase in game prices because like seriously, the games have been the same price for a very long time, and I feel like that bubble is about to burst. But then. That's why, like, you get all those uh, games that, they like, they cost money, but then, oh, you gotta buy that extra content. <laughs> then you can have the full game. Like, games just aren't finished anymore. You gotta buy all the DLC. There is something wrong about returning everything all the time. I don't, I don't know. Like, a few times here and there, that's fine. It's the policy, but doing it to, like, play and rent a game just... I'm not a fan because I worked in the environment. Uh, retail has made me completely averse to uh, returning items. Uh, obviously, game. Uh, I know lots of people that buy a game and return it. Yep. <laughs> Temtem is thirty-five dollars, and people are mad about that. Ugh. Yeah. No wonder I haven't tried it. <laughs> uh, I'm tired of buying DLCs. That it's just the content they didn't add. Yeah, that's true. I'm so glad to have a good job. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. I don't know. I pick and I pick and choose what I want. I buy a lot of them, but I do. I I try to buy the games that like I know that I'm gonna be definitely interested in. Because I don't I don't like getting that stinker, that odd piece of shit, that random turd. Third. Okay, we're getting close to having pulled all the weeds. Maybe. I think I have to cross the bridge. Yeah, we have to do like this, this little bit right around here. That won't take very long. And then we can do some chores and sell some shit. See, we can find out what my what my original town fruit is. Money feeds everything. <laughs> oh, that's right, the Mabel sisters. I almost forgot about them. I thought it was so, so funny that, like, you have to, like, talk to this one character, like, a billion freaking times just to get them to like you enough to, like, talk to you. <laughs> My Christmas, uh, I flew from Dallas to New Mexico, back to Dallas, then to Florida, bought a $1,600 phone, <laughs> then bought two Switches, and didn't stress about none of it. Just swiped the card. <laughs> I, I mean, more power to you. More power to you, buddy. <laughs> I, I'll admit, I can't spin to that level, but I, there's times that I wish that I could. Money feeds everything except my love of flour tortillas. <laughs> what? I mean, doesn't it cost you, like, money to buy flour tortillas? <laughs> money literally feeds you. I'll admit, like, I'm doing a lot better in the job that I am now, or that I have now, than I, than I ever have. And it's nice because, like, I don't know, like, it helps fuel, like, a lot of the stuff that I do for streams, and I appreciate that. 
I said my love of, not the eating of. <laughs> Hi there, come on in. Welcome to the Able Sisters, where you are the famous fashion designer. Oh, I have a Rossetti umbrella. That's right. Thanks, Tunic. Oh, the Star Fox shirt. I like that. That's great. Oh, Jason! It's always so nice to see you. It's only been 16 years. <coughs> Do you come to create more of your fascinating designs? <laughs> Designs a shirt is just a penis. <laughs> Wait, speaking of which, do I have... I looked at my designs, right? Oh, I have like four blank ones. Okay. For a second I thought that I had some weird ones in there, but I don't. Where's the weeds, bucko? Oh, it's another penguin. This place is, like, penguin heavy. And cat heavy. I thought about streaming. Uh, I'm just in a really good position with my plumbing company, and I don't want anything distracting me from it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, just keep with it. I don't know. I, I do streaming as a hobby. Um, I don't... I don't really make money from from it at all. Like, I think I've only just come, gotten to the point where like I'm able to accept subscribers, and that was just out of a fluke. Um, but I don't know. I don't do it for the money. I just I want to do it for fun. It's a nice hobby. I can turn I can turn the gaming that I like doing into something that I can share with other people. It's nice. But I do it because I don't really have anything else to do. Uh, you're acting rather buddy-buddy now, aren't you? Who are you? I don't like the sayings that these people have. It strikes me as familiar, yet I can't quite place my finger on it. So, are we friends or what? Oh, you think we are. Huh. Well, either way, it's fine with me. <laughs> Get right to the point. What can I do for you? What's going on? What's going on? I've literally never streamed. Never want to. I have zero energy. <laughs> that's okay. You can just be a watcher, and that's fine. Have you ever been inside an igloo in the winter? I hear it's surprisingly warm inside, even though it's made of ice. But wouldn't that mean it should melt from the inside out? The thinker. All right, more weeds, please. Making money off streams definitely takes time and consistency. I have a conqueror mentality, and it's good, but if I get distracted from plumbing, then yeah, counterproductive. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I think I think for me, uh, it's... With, with my job, I literally can just leave it at my job. I don't have to take it with me anywhere. I don't have to worry about it. Because, like, okay, like I, I work in a call center. And the call center is just, like, I'm the I'm the person that you call when you have trouble at the pharmacy with your medications. I'm the person that helps you get your medications authorized and all that sort of stuff. I work for the big insurance, man. Uh, but, like, literally, I don't take any of that work home with me. And so, like, I come home and I, and I stream. And it's nice because I, I get to chill out. And I, like, I've been doing this for four years. And... I do have a pretty big level of consistency, or at least I have, uh, for like the last like, I don't know, like year or so. Um, I don't know. I've always been pretty consistent. Like I've, I've sort of like swapped my focus. I was doing a lot of YouTube stuff, and then with the whole like way that YouTube was going, I sort of stopped focusing on it, and then I started just doing mainly stuff for Twitch. Uh, so like when it comes to YouTube, all I do is I really just. I post like a little bit of new content, which by the way, Silver, <laughs> if you if you want to see the cats, I posted a new video today uh, about Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, figurines. Um, just you'll have just if you want to just watch the end of it, <laughs> but you, you'll see a uh, cameo from a cat. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, that sounds like a massive upgrade from GameStop. So okay, like. GameStop I did as a part-time job. Most of my like most of my working career I've worked at grocery stores. Yeah, kitty content. And tiny bit. Um 
Okay, I guess I picked all the uh, picked all the weeds. They said there was something over at E1. I think I found it. Yeah, I've I've worked mostly at uh, grocery stores. I've worked for basically every single major like grocery retail chain. I've worked for uh, I've worked for Meyer in in the in the Midwest. I've worked for I've worked for Safeway. I've worked for Fries. I've worked for Kroger. Uh, I worked for Walmart. Um, I, I've hit most of the big ones, <laughs> and like I bet the only one that I didn't work for was like uh, Albertsons and Bashes. But they didn't want to. They didn't want to hire me when I was looking for a job because they would have to pay me too much money. <laughs> so, but I, I finally had to break out of it, and so like this was the one chance that I got at doing something different, and so I, I took it. Okay, uh, who is this for? For Sandy. Where is Sandy? That's Pom Pom. Oh, she's just down there. Uh, honestly, the most watched thing for me from you has been Space Game. <laughs> uh, space Gay. Um, <laughs> got to fuck me in the ass, Captain. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Uh... And, oh, I love fucking Bob Buffett. <laughs> I was so happy when I made that. Uh, where the f*** are you, bitch? No, you're not here. Oh, I'm, I need to go across the bridge. I've always wanted to try working at Walgreens to get into pharmaceuticals, but people told me that, that that's not how it works. Really? How would it work? Uh... And I I like the fact that you're happy with your job. You work in a you work in a library, and I think that's a really really cool place to work. Wait, no. Deliver for delivery for Butch. Sandy is who gave it to me. Where's Butch? I don't think Butch lives here. <laughs> yeah, Butch doesn't live here anymore, Sandy. Uh... Huh. Well. That's too bad. Yeah, I don't, I don't enjoy plumbing, uh, but I like the money and the job security. It, that's important, though. I'm also happy with your stream. I wouldn't change it for anything except cold hard cash. <laughs> if I could pump money through the inner tubes at you, I, I would definitely try. Well. Damn it, I can't drop it. All right, I'm going to sell all this. Oh, you meant for me? <laughs> I mean, if you want to feed cold hard cash through the internet, <laughs> you're more than welcome to. <laughs> how about, okay, so how about, how about you actually request a song, huh? Do that thing. Do that thing that I created just for this stream. Oh, you did? I didn't see it. Where did it freaking go? Which one did you did you request? Oh, you did! You totally did! I see it now. Yeah, okay. Got it. 
Uh, one of the people I watched got a random 1K donation. That's the reason I want to stream for these days. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, Silver here, the other guy that, that's watching, he, he was my very first subscriber. And, uh, and Silver, yes, I know the truth. Um, and he was my first donator. He, and that was great. I, I thought it was fantastic. Super nice of him. Honestly, I've been curious about this song myself. I didn't play it because I wanted to play, like, the regular stuff. And save, like, the, uh... Save the interesting songs for people that actually ask for them. <laughs> know the truth. Who said it was me? <laughs> Could have been a random. You did get a random sub too. That's true. I've had a total of three of them. Okay, I had to pick some fruit. Horizon? Oh, Horizon. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the stream. Alright, we're gonna pick some fruit. <laughs> I know, it's very close, that's why I'm playing this game. <laughs> Alright, that's peaches and pears. Hmm. Alright, got cherries. I'm most likely uh, gonna get Horizon, but I'm torn about it. <laughs> I mean, if, if it's any consolation when it comes down to it, you can always watch people stream it. I know I will be. I'll be streaming at day one. I've actually contemplated requesting a day off. I might. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I'm trying to get a G Max Toxtricity. There you go. I'm gonna be doing the same thing here in just a moment when I finish playing this. I thought you were playing the, this game because you missed Tangy. <laughs> you probably played DX for 10 days and decide from there. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so I have more. Is this bees? No, it's bells. <laughs> Alright, what am I missing? Uh, oh, apples. I think I'm running out of room. Yep, I'm full. That's right, eat it a fucking hole. Anyway, there you go. That was KK Afro. Right, let's go sell let's go sell these individually. And find out which is worth more. See which my town had as the original fruit. <laughs> I know it's not fucking coconuts too, so I'm not gonna get any of those. Uh, I try not to dive into games I haven't tried. I am smart with my money, uh, even though it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> uh, I got the UE one. Now I need... Uh... Oh, okay. The blue. You love Cheetos, by the way. <laughs> Cheetos? Great. They are good. I like the puffs. I like the way that they melt in your mouth. That fake cheese flavor. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to sell to you. I want to sell this one peach. Uh, yeah, all. Oh, fine. Alright, it's not peaches. 
and stick on your teeth. <laughs> now you put them on your tongue and you just let them dissolve. <laughs> I like re regular Cheetos too. All right, I have a. I'm feeling that it's oranges. My issue was my family was always the bargain type, and I've learned uh, you get what you pay for. So when you buy stuff, I usually get the good shit. I feel that. I feel that. Okay, I guess it was pears. I was wrong. It was not. It was not oranges. No, 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 no! It was peaches because peaches were cheap. The one, the ones that are expensive are the other fruit. <laughs> Puffs and hot fries are your favorite. I cannot. I cannot do those guys. Why do I have a hundred bills in my pocket? Oh, the tree. <laughs> Wait, Tuan fruit are cheap? Yeah. Oh, town fruit are cheap. Yes, you're absolutely right. I, I just had them completely fucking backwards. <laughs> okay, I guess I can dig up all the shit now, even though I don't really have any use for the fossils. Uh, I have this random thing. I'm gonna stick it in here. Ah. Uh. If I hold on to it long enough, I can just toss it. Okay. I don't remember where I saw things. Let's let's just we're, we're gonna wander around. We're gonna talk to animals. If we find if we find the things, <laughs> economics, jazz, supply and demand. Yeah, you're right. Should I try finding the uh, the rock? Remember, there's the trick. Put yourself in a corner. My favorite things are... Dude, like, Snyder's makes these... These honey mustard pretzel bite... Things. Oh my god, I fucking love them so much. Hey there, Hambo. Oh, I can't believe this! Look, I don't want to talk to you or anyone else ever again. Alright, they're both men. Got it. I will avoid Apollo's hiding behind the trees. <laughs> Hello again, Jason. What's up? Fack! Hey, why are you even talking to me, Fack? Let's chat. Hey, Jason. Money can't buy love or happiness, but you still need it, right? I wish there was some kind of tree that grew money. I know it exists. <laughs> you don't suppose there really is such a thing, do you? I've grown many of them. It's probably why I have five million bells. <laughs> Apollo Justice. <laughs> I, prefer, I prefer the original Ace. Uh, favorite snack ever, Crunch Bars. I love those bitches. I ate so many uh, things the other day, and Corn Nuts was really the only one. <laughs> Uh, I, okay, like, if I had to pick, like, an actual, like, favorite snack. God, what would be? I love snacks so much. I'm a snack man. It'd probably be, like... Okay, okay. Those, those sweet and spicy Doritos. Those are some good shit. You like Apollo Justice? Unique mechanic. <laughs> good twist. Good twist on the cross examination. I don't know. There's just I just I just have this feeling for the original. I don't I don't know. It just it's just great. Let's get right to the point. Care to chat? Say, didn't I owe you? Didn't you owe Tom Nook a fairly large sum of money? I was just wondering. Did you ever manage to pay him back? Oh, I paid it off. <laughs> What's it to <do> you? <laughs> Crab legs? Oh, if we're going to go there. <laughs> Crab puffs from Chinese restaurants. Yes. 
I would I would get a plate and fill it with nothing but crab puffs and I would be exactly happy. Not exactly a snack, but I love crab. <laughs> hey, a snack is anything that you want it to be. <laughs> Guess you have some good qualities. <laughs> I always thought you were some freak mental case because you run around town all the time. Uh, I'm going to talk to you until you get me to change your, your thing. I didn't expect you to be here again. Dumplings. I ate 16 on my birthday. <laughs> you would fill it with cheese curds? That's interesting. I've already told you that you can move. No oh, thanks. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> I can't say that I've ever had uh, cheese curds. Uh, this is KK China. Jalapeno poppers. <laughs> okay, I don't like spicy things, but jalapeno poppers are great. Especially wrapped in fucking bacon. I want a job. This had something for you, but I'm afraid that's been taken care of. Maybe next time, Bumpkin. Okay, then... Need anything? Fine. I guess nobody really needs anything. I used to eat a block of cheese at work every day. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Silver, what do you think about that? <laughs> Speaking of food, though, you had stew earlier. How was it? Was it good? Where's your life going? Is your room becoming more fashionably decorated? Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't say. It's marvelous. Keep it with good work. You know what? You know what we're going to do? I know exactly what we're going to do. Go. We're going to go back home. Oh, there goes the ball. I mean, being, a, being like, you know, averse to cheese as you are, <laughs> it, it, it would make a difference. <laughs> oh, should I look at my mail? I love cheese. Cheese is great. Luckily, I worked at 7-Eleven, so, <laughs> so me whipping out my cubic brick of cheese wasn't completely odd. <laughs> I dig it. Let's do one. Let's do one more. I like cheese because you're cheesy. Yeah, I'm fucking cheesy as hell. So this KK teacher. Right. Mailbox full? No, surprisingly. There was a darling bazaar in the town square the other day. Happened upon this adorable umbrella. Do you want it? Don't stay out too long in the rain. <laughs> Respect your sinuses. Fine. Eh, I mean, Mom, you could have done better. Tell us a happy story. <laughs> your, your current design earns 1, 10,569 points. Now focus on finding some interesting items to add a spicy dash of creativity to your designs. You don't like pickles or mustard? You like honey mustard, though? Yes. Yes. I knew there was something about you that I liked. <laughs> like I said, dude, Snyder's makes honey pretzel bites. They're just like broken up giant pretzel bites covered in honey mustard. Love them. I will eat an entire fucking bag of those. Don't care. 
Tom, I don't... Stop with your junk mail. Alright, we're gonna play some NES games. What do I want to play? Uh, love pickle, sweet and sour, spicy or salty. Love a nice pickle. Yeah, I want to play Warriors Woods. <laughs> I'm gonna win. Oh, that's right. You have to, like, match up the pieces. Uh, comedic potential is high. <laughs> oh, he likes pickles. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you know, that's that's fine. You, you can be above whatever you want to be. Everybody has their weakness. Um, not where I wanted to be, but I'll take it. Honestly, I'd rather Tetris or Tetris Attack. Your weakness is Animal Crossing and free dinners. <laughs> can I go over? Oh, I can go over that. This game is so weird. I'm just going to pick up this bomb and I'm going to put it down right here. Oh shit, I can just run up the wall? What? Weird. Well, that didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. I mean, free dinners are great. <laughs> let's do, let's finish this one and then we'll call it for this game. No. Fuck you. Wait, does it clear in diagonals? Any and all dick jokes are welcomed. <laughs> I said meme is like, is this a dick joke? <laughs> Alright. Let's play another one. I don't remember what this one is. Oh, nope. nope. I didn't mean that. Oh, it's Punch Out. I suck at this game. Yeah. Let's play it. Any and all dick jokes are welcome. They can be the same can be said for dicks themselves. <laughs> oh my god, Silver, you are you are you are a thing. Alright, let's lose to Glass Joe. Boo -doo. Are you gonna do anything? I am a treasure, Jazzy, you covered me. <laughs> I never quite learned how to play this one. Because I keep on forgetting there's like actually like an up and down.
that was a super easy thing to miss. Uh, so libraries. Hmm? Do you dispose of books often? <laughs> yeah, Silver. You're a regular book burner. That actually is a good question. Like, when when do you get rid of books? <laughs> this is my last match. I'm too old for fighting! <laughs> Who even talked you into doing this? Fight! I just want to beat one of these dudes. Oh, I missed my chance. No, maybe a few in a week. Uh, we lose, we lose more books uh, to overdueness than being worn out. We generally only get rid of books uh, like beyond damaged. Uh, if you could tear it, it out with uh, to wipe with, it's time to get rid of it. <laughs> I was reading and I lost my game. <laughs> Rich Dad, Poor Dad talked about it. <laughs> they would rent out uh, comic books until they were too bad to read and burn them. Oh my god. <laughs> I died. I fucking died. I was reading. Ah, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not very good at this game anyway. <laughs> you know what we need? I, need? I need this game. Oh, I know what game to play next. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. If the thing is like falling apart, like why keep it? You know, okay, here's a story. You know what I used to read all the time in high school? Uh, Star Wars novels and, and, um, a Asterix and Obelisk. Asterix and Obelisk was like the jam. Yeah, avoid libraries, even though one is like 50 feet from my house. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, don't the homeless live there? No. <laughs> no, I crashed. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad uh, was the first book I've read since high school. Wow. Seven years dead. <laughs> I I don't know. I I find that I read fairly often. I'm not a complete terrible person when it comes to that. I've got a ton of books on my shelf. I've read them all, sort of. Well, no, not all of them. Like I've read like ninety percent of them. The first book I I remember caring about was because of Win because of Win Dixie. I'm waiting for the new Star Wars novelization to come out. <laughs> That comes out in March, and I will be reading it uh, very happily. Because Star Wars and sci-fi, that's the thing that I like. I, I remember having to read the the uh, the Lord of the Flies in high school, and I remember how fucking messed up that book was, and how even more, like, kind of, like, freaky the movie was. <laughs> oh, Silver, you want another story? Uh... So all of these NES games that I have down in my basement, um, I was a member of an Animal Crossing forum. Uh, I was one of its like founding members and uh, a moderator and all that sort of stuff. And there was a guy on there that was like, hey, you want the uh, NES games? 
and I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> so he uh, he's like, hey, you can uh, you you can like mail me a, a memory card and some money, and <laughs> and I'll put all of the all of the NES games on there. And I'm like, okay. So I legitimately did that. This the game card that I'm playing on right now has been mailed to a person halfway across the country. Let him fuck around with it and give me all the NES games. And uh, yeah, I still have it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't believe I fucking did that. Like, that's such a tr fucking trip. Like, uh, when? What? Two. Times. I mean, I can go for nine. Plus eighteen. Times. Three. Oh, I'm so close. There's a one. No! <laughs> I was trying to get to the minus! Uh, <laughs> Jazz King support you, but you were a very trusting person. I know! I was dumb and young and wanted all those freaking NES games. Alright, that's enough math. I didn't realize that that was fucking Donkey Kong math. There's actually one game that I want to play. I just, I don't remember if I have it. Or if it exists in this form. No, I don't want to play Donkey Kong 3. No, not baseball either. No, not tennis. When it, does it not exist in this form? Yes! It does! After reading that book, my cousin wants me utilizing my gaming knowledge and, and, and flip games, and the people I have dealt with have been super sketchy, and it's definitely not worth my time. <laughs> I, it, it was a it was indeed a good stranger and I'm and I'm happy for that <laughs> so no joke this pinball game is like one of my favorite games for the original NES I would I would play this regularly and I loved it I don't know what it was about it it was just it was just so much fucking fun I like the little seals it does cool things. It's just like, it, it's such a simplistic version of Pinball 2. Yeah! No, 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 let me, let me through that loop. Either that or let me get that that other uh, side brick over there. I remember playing Space Pinball. And I'm, oh, yeah, Space Pinball. Dude, that was great. Such a fucking good tie-in game. <laughs> and there were even, like, hidden pinball tables, too, I think. Yes! That's fine, we don't need the other half of the board. It's... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no! I was... going for the 
thingy. You get the birds. That gets you the ball savers. And then you have to make the, uh... You have to get all the cards. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, Pokemon Pinball was also really fun. <laughs> that was great. And then, like, the, it came with, like, the fucking Rumble Pack, too. It was great. Uh, do you toast your rice? No? I like I like fried rice. I like fried rice and steamed rice. I think I preferred fried rice. That's okay. You can I can make all the points. <laughs> hey babe, I love balls. Pin balls. <laughs> Gotta be a pinball wizard. I mean, I like pokeballs, pinballs, meatballs, <laughs> space balls. <laughs> There's lots of balls that are great. Oh, Oscar. Okay. I think we're actually just about done here. How long? Wait, two and a half hours. Jesus Christ. I spent most of the time fucking picking weeds. But it was great to get back into it. You know what? This, this game needs some music. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Space balls after a couple of eight balls. <laughs> that's bad. Drugs are bad, kids. Don't do drugs. Hey, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Oh, silver. Um... I am actually going to be doing a Lego stream tomorrow morning. I got another Lego set in the mail. Uh, I got uh, that that International Space Station actually came out. I'm fucking stoked. No, 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 no. God, you can't do anything in this room. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what did you fucking say? Did you say the bad word? Wait, I banned whose name? Whose name did I ban? <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. I mean, this, I don't, I mean, I, I do literally anything, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... <laughs> yes, yes, I think, like I said, I think I banned about 50 different versions of that word. <laughs> so, so he, he, here's, here's the joke. Um, so, I like building Lego, and I've been a fan of Lego for a very, very long time. Uh, one of my pet peeves is the way that people say plural of Lego. Uh, they put an S on the end. That word doesn't exist. So, I banned it. <laughs> it's literally the only word that's banned. <laughs> so, yeah, he, he can't use Legolas uh, to get... Uh, Oh my fucking god, I thought I had a first Goomba. Um, when I joined the stream, I thought you looked like a mini-me. <laughs> I am disappointed in myself. I am sad. I should really just go fucking die. I couldn't even get a coin or the first fucking mushroom.
Well, okay. That's just Lagoose. <laughs> and that's fine. Make up, make up new ways to say it. I'll ban them all. <laughs> it, I mean, that, that's fine. I'll just inflict higher punishments. <laughs> But yeah, there, there's gonna be a Lego stream tomorrow. We're gonna we're gonna build the International Space Station, uh, which is amazing. Uh, I'm gonna put it right up there next to the Saturn V, um, and then we're gonna build um, the A-wing from the new Star Wars set um, because that finally arrived. And then we are going to uh, we're gonna add lights to the Batmobile. Uh, that'll be fun. I'm excited to do that. I finally received a light kit all the way from China. Um, so yeah, it'll 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 be it'll be good. We'll, we'll chill. I'll actually talk this time. <laughs> no. Oh god, I thought I was fucking dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are those emotes? <laughs> Um, those are interesting emotes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, really, just throw pasta in that girl's face. It's fine. <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick with. I'll, I'll I'll stick with the classic. <laughs> oh god, I emotes are great. Who doesn't like balls in the race? <laughs> Balls in face. Uh, the spaghetti is a twitch emote. They gave me the power. <laughs> oh god, I, I love it. That's great. Oscar, you jackass, shut the fuck up. Nope, not gonna die that way. I only died a dumb ways. I'm just trying to see how far I can get before I game over, and then, and then we're gonna, then we're gonna switch to. Uh... <laughs> there. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, we're we're gonna switch to Pokemon. <laughs> Which okay, by the way, Silver. Not just... <laughs> what the fuck is that one? <laughs> oh my god. That's great. Uh, Pokemon Stream's got an upgrade too. I still have some skill. It, it, it is, seriously, like, a testament to how much of this game I played as a kid. <laughs> what? Are you saying what the hell to, like, the... the... You what? <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> that, that's just what that makes me think of. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, how long has it been? <laughs> like two minutes. <clears throat> well, time to beat Bowser. I will not beat Bowser. Suffice it to say that I have never I've never beaten this game. I've gotten to the final castle, I always get lost, I run out of lives. This is about, well, okay. This and like lost levels. I cannot, I cannot and have not beaten those games. That will continue to be a truth in my life forever. But I've beaten all of the other ones. Some of them multiple times. This one though will 
apparently elude me forever. Oh my fucking god, I can't believe I did that. I, I envision myself falling through one of those gaps. Fuck. No, 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 no. Nope, no mushrooms. And we did. Yep. That makes sense to me. <laughs> All right. We'll save our game. We did a lot of progress. We made we made the the planet happy again. What goes up but never sideways? An elevator? Yeah, there are a lot of emotes. Uh, I want to save and quit, thank you. The first save in 16 years. <laughs> oh my god. What do you think, Oscar? That was cool, huh? A little bit of nostalgia. You weren't even alive when this game came out. You weren't you weren't even alive the last time that I played it. What do you think about that? Ra -ra. Okay. Hello. Let's close this out. Who can do jumping jacks but never raise their arms? A guy with no arms. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm I'm not going away. I am coming back. And we're playing Pokemon. Uh, I just need like five minutes to get everything ready again. But either way, even if you don't come back, thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time. It was a good chat. It's always nice to chat with new people. My God, this is why I like controllers with like no fucking cables. <laughs> But if you ever do drop by again, uh, I hope you drop by when I am playing uh, the new Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah. Or anytime, really. I play lots of shit. Hmm, 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 hmm. Like I said, I'll be back in five minutes. I need to get everything ready. Go for it. And yes, perhaps a snack. Ha ha ha.